When we eat, can have some really profound and beneficial effects. And talk about this idea of intermittent fasting or time-restricted feeding of compressing down the eating window and missing some meals and having long periods during the, mostly overnight obviously, and then during the day to follow on from that, which allows the glucose in the blood, the insulin, the inflammatory markers, all to get back down to their baseline, which is a really powerful effect if you're, especially if you're insulin resistant and you're eating all the time, never really get that opportunity. So sh should I fast or not? Should you fast? Well, there's some questions around that and I think there's a few different rules that I put in place. Now, fasting in of itself is a stressful event. Cortisol goes up in the blood, adrenaline can be raised. So if you've already got high levels of stress, you're doing a lot of very high intensity exercise, which is stressful, then adding to that load, a poor night's sleep as well, uh, may make things worse. So I think you want to have your sleep and, and your exercise and your overall stress under control before you start to embark on this journey. Otherwise, I think you add stress on stress on stress and that can be a worse thing. So that's the first thing. Now, there are some medicines, like if you're injecting insulin and those sorts of diabetes medications and, and high blood pressure, where you can get quite rapid responses it changes, your insulin requirements go down, your blood pressure rapidly drops. Now those are, are good things in of themselves, but you want to consult your doctor about managing those prescriptions as well. So should I fast? I think for most people, it's, they find it pretty useful. It can be quite a good way of losing weight, uh, staying in shape, all other things being equal. You certainly eat less, uh, but consider some of those other factors.